Alright, welcome everybody to my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Let's Play. We're going to continue on the story here. Last time we um, we did the Montagero attack you know, on Ezio's home. Uh, we finished out the Rome area a little bit. And we unfortunately watched our Uncle Mario die. Very sad. Now, yeah. well, let's get back into it. Catch up with Ezio. See where he's at. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one of the missions. I don't need it though. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. What if I have some the long kill streak possible? All right. You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first what memory. What kind of repressed memory? All right, let's go. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Hmm. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Back to square one. Back in Rome. Ah, uh, Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the Mausoleo. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? 
Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Too kind. Too kind, man. As good as new. Find a doctor to heal the wounds from the villa attack and climb the church tower to locate one. But do not drop below one health square. Alright, let me go back then. Oh. I need to find the doctor. Uh, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Do you require medical assistance? I don't think so. I appreciate it. All right, back to hell. Mm. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One of ten is much better than out of hundred. Yeah. Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Did you have any luck with the moor today? Oh, well, perhaps tomorrow. I thought when he lost his smithy that we would still be all right. That ear music, I love it. It's beautiful. 
Oh, I'm sorry. She just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. Treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Il Carnefice lives on the hill of the gallows. Locate and kill him. Kill your target with the hidden blade. Done. Easy. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. up with Machiavelli, you know? Get money because you don't even gain negative reputation for it being too. So. 
Oh, okay, I'm done. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the hmm. villa attack has spread Strange. across the city. We were this certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Company Machiavelli through Rome, encountering danger along the way. Throw the Borgia captain into the scaffolding to kill him. You got it. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? Hmm. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, True. I can help. Thank you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon <laughs> as I hear some, I will let you know. survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill ah, Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murderers. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she fails in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet. The King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare. 
head of the Papal Arms. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italy. And at this rate, he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. I probably won't gather all the flags. It is. It's 101 flags. I don't know if I'll do that. Where's the fourth tower? There it is. Forbidden areas. Red zones on the minimap are under border influence. Guard inside will attack as soon as possible. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, hmm. the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> What the heck? Why did I kill the random dude? <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, I was like, no, I was like, please don't. Mm. There we go. Got the 100% sink. Alright, back to Machiavelli. Sorry, buddy, then you stay my name. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. <laughs> Una moneta. Did I just see that? I must be working too hard. Like the tower. Boom. It seems the stable is now available for purchase. After you. <laughs> Rebuilding Rome, Borgia influence has stopped the growth of Rome. We essentially need to go around and buy properties and increase our value of Rome and also our income. Now renovate the building. Horse stables, renovate the horse stables for, oh, for free. Nice. Citizens of Rome will use renovated stables to house their horses. Horses will always be available there. Some horses. Come see Machiavelli to the Can Pidigerio. Don't lose any health. Oh boy.
I intend to heal their sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borja's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city, the center of Borja and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people like building on the set. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campitorio. I immediately Give me my money there. there. Give me back my money! Come back here! Okay, how did that not tackle him? Give it back. Get out of here before I regret sparing your life. Just down here and grab that. the loot. Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. Yes, I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. Rendezvous with Machiavelli's contact and retrieve the letter he carries. Catch the Borgia courier in under one minute.
Yeah. The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friend, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely describe the reality of Rome today. But all may not be lost. Yeah, yeah. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. Hey! Hey! Hey, Desmond. I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonate me, signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, Ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Is it? The courier still has the letter. Oh, gotta go catch him. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the terminal. Good day. Catch the Borgia courier in a minute. Got it. Nice. Go now. Meet back up with Monkey Villain now. Lupella. Deliver the letter to Machiavelli near the 10 minute ditch and you know, don't lose any health. Oh gosh, I, this is a hard one because you get attacked by these, like, the wolf, the cult of, um, fucking, I forget what the cult is, but you get attacked by these guys and you can't lose any health. Also from you. Locate the shrine of Romulus, complete memory within eight minutes. Nero's Golden Palace.
Oh, okay. I thought I jumped. Pick up. Okay, really? Can you find that?
here. Hey, Google. Bunch of freaking furries. <laughs> Back up here. Always back up in case I fall. <laughs> Oh, come on, let's go. Percy Brown. Please grab it. <laughs> that could help if I fall. What the fuck? Why would that be the jump that it makes there? That was dumb. Oh my gosh. Not yeah, I'm not gonna get it now. Oh well. Not that important. <sighs> Scroll of Romulus 1. I leave my camera in these armor here. One of the finest sets I've ever made. May whoever find it receive strength in battle. Change, Change of handwriting. We have taken it and then set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it. Spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus and they will worship it. 
I don't need to see full image. No. Get the weight. Mm. All the tomatoes. <laughs> More tomatoes. Give me the tomatoes. <laughs> hmm. The followers of Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. Fifty two points every twenty minutes. Woohoo. This I We recently began traveling through the tunnel to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. It's like a sort of fast travel, one might say. <laughs> Trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Serezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. <laughs> Fabio has lent us an unused storeroom on Isola Tiverina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. Now, I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. Hmm. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Something Ezio's already been very always been very good at. A wind underground completed.
All right. Well, I'll probably end the video there. You know, it's a good place to stop. I appreciate y'all for watching. I think there's going to be a little cutscene here. We'll watch that and then we'll end the video there for today. The fighter, the lover, and the thief. Sleep and sleep. You know, I want a blacksmith shop? Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. So, alright, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time for a continuation of my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Let's Play. Once again, my favorite Assassin's Creed game by far. Um, alright, I'll catch you on the next one.